your live Doppler 8 first alert weather. Welcome back. We'll start you off with a look over the day track over the Lake of the Ozarks where we were able to pick up plenty of sunshine and clear sky throughout the area. That clear sky, as we can see, demonstrated by the live Doppler 8 First Alert Radar is continuing to scan clear and dry throughout the entire state of Missouri, which is a trend that we'll continue to see as we start up next week and especially on into tomorrow. For now, though, that clear sky has helped bring down temperatures throughout the state into the 30s for the most part. 32 degrees in St. Louis, 30 in Springfield, and then 31 degrees in Kansas City. A little closer to home, though, we have a trend of upper 20s down into the low 30s. Down at the Capitol, we're sitting at 30 degrees, 29 in Columbia, 30 in Marshall, and then a bit chiller, or warmer rather, in Sedalia, up at 34 degrees. The main factor that we're concerned about now, if you're headed out tonight, is that wind chill, making it feel eight or nine degrees cooler in some areas than that actual temperature, feeling more like 23 degrees in Columbia, 22 in Marshall, Sedalia about the same, but down in Odessa, close to 20, down at 21 degrees is more what it feels like. Here at the Columbia Regional Airport, we're picking up a temperature of 29 degrees with a mostly clear sky. With that humidity on the rise, we're starting to see a few clouds throughout the area. That wind, though, is staying consistent from the south at about six miles per hour. Today, taking a look at that almanac, we were a bit chillier than we usually are for this time of the year, waking up to a low temperature of 15 degrees. But then in terms of our high temperature, reaching that high temperature of 40, we were about two degrees below where we normally are for this time of the year. However, in terms of precip, that's one area of concern that we're hoping to bring a little closer to normal come mid next week. Right now, though, as we look at that satellite and radar from today, we can see a clear scan throughout most of the Midwest. That is due in part to a high pressure system that has been rotating in a clockwise motion, helping to bring up some warm southerly winds, which has helped helped us bring our temperature up to the 40s and will be a major factor for tomorrow as we reach a temperature above normal temperatures. However, tonight that mostly clear sky is bringing in chillier weather for us as that daytime heating escapes right on back into the atmosphere without any clouds to hold it in as we bottom out at 23 degrees. Tomorrow, though, we're going to be reaching a high of 48, so starting to flirt with the 50 degree mark with once again plenty of sunshine through the area and those warm southerly breezes coming in at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we work our way into the work week, though, we're going to start seeing some clouds build in Monday, but those temperatures continue to increase toward the 50 degree mark on Wednesday. But with those 50 degree temperatures, we're going to start seeing some rainfall coming in that will start Tuesday night, but then continue on into the early hours of Thursday morning. One thing you might want to pay attention to, though, is we are expecting this precipitation to stay in a water form as that temperature during the day and on into the nighttime hours is staying well above freezing. Okay, great. Thanks, Elizabeth.